Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Very nice cloud formation. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Isaiah 9 verse 2. It says, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. Here's my poem. Light shines in the dark. How long have you been groping in the dark? Would you want to be free and have a new start? When you live a life full of darkness, it is not very hard to be hopeless. Whenever you live in, this, in sin and confusion, you will be in constant de desperation. You need to repent and confess. Light will shine in the dark if you profess. Here's my essay. There are many people who live their whole lives in total darkness. They have no idea what the purpose of their lives are. They are like puppets to the dictates of the world. They are controlled by their sinful nature and are slaves of their own desires. They have been kept so much in the lies that the enemy had made them believe for many years. They do things without thinking of repercussions of their actions. They never consult God for anything in their lives. Then, they wonder why their lives are so messed up. God promised to give light to those people who are walking in darkness. He gave us Jesus, the light that covers all darkness. Prayer. Lord, shine on all darkness in this world. Reflection. What darkness in your life do you need to let God's light in? As an answer to that, um, I think God has been working so much in my life this past uh, decade. Um, but um, because I didn't um, cooperate very well with uh, how He was healing me until I finally obeyed. It was in my obedience that he actually shone his light in all the dark areas of my life. I would say that I'm still struggling right now with um, the tendency to go back when I become so stressed out and I become so um, distracted or I, I lack sleep. Um, the enemy sometimes are able is able to um, rile me up, but I uh, thank I thank the Lord because He is constantly with me. This uh, three years of uh, four years of my journey um, of faithfulness, because um, I cannot imagine what my life would be if I have not totally submitted and surrendered to the Lord. Um, he's still working on me, but I have made God as um, my Savior and my and, 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 and my deliverer from all my iniquities, from all my sins. And this verse of Isaiah 9, uh, 2 is actually a verse that was prophesied by Isaiah during his time. But also in Matthew, it is uh, repeated, quoting Isaiah's uh, prophecy about the coming of Jesus Christ, who is going to remove all the darkness and will be the light of the world. So, what, how much God loves us so much is by giving us light, by giving us Jesus as the light to all the sins that we are going through in our lives. And if we do not allow the light of Jesus to shine in our hearts, then we will totally be groping in the dark. So I invite you to allow the light 
to just peep in that darkness because once the light and this is also biblical it says once the light shines in the darkness it can never extinguish it so once a little little uh, peak of light gets in the darkness it is not total darkness anymore and um, it will be able to invade the dark areas of your life thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a wonderful and blessed night.